All right, we are back with Story of Seasons, and I'm so excited to get more involved with our story. We had left off with needing to water our crops. And we were meeting most of the villagers. I think we're still missing one or two. Seems like I can walk over the crops, which means that the next time we do a round of planting, we don't have to use this setup. <gasps> I forgot that we had a horse! I can hear the horse running. We'll go say hi in a minute. We'll need to buy a brush too for the horse. I think we've got enough for that to do that today. will be nice because it will take a little a uh, little less time to water all right horsey where are you at ah oh my god no we need to do some more cleanup on this because that was a disaster. Let's go get a brush real quick. I think the blacksmith is the one who sells the brush. Oh. The tool you repaired for me is so very easy to use. I wanted to come thank you again for your craftsmanship. I appreciate it very much. Well, if you're that pleased by it, then I'm glad I repaired it for you. If you ever need my expertise again, come straight over and see me, alright? Yes, thank you so much. Ow! Don't mind me, it's nothing. Oh no, you're bleeding! Idiot, it's because you lost focus. I said I'm fine. No, you aren't. Wait just a second, um... Oh, there it is. Give me your hand, Gray. That should do it. Thanks. Oh no, it's my pleasure. Alright, I'll be going now. I hope to see you two at the library someday. We'll be sure to drop by sometime. I promise to visit. I'm glad. Goodbye for now. So the last time we were playing this, I was talking about how there used to be this thing called Rivals, and your chosen love interest could actually marry somebody else. This scene that we just saw is what is called a Rival Heart event, so they're still in the game, but they don't actually affect it at this point, but it used to be that you had to see all four rival heart events in order for them to get married. 
and kind of close that chapter. So if you wanted to avoid that, you just had to know the conditions for the rival heart events and you would just avoid going into those areas. It's usually dictated by a certain time, place, or day, or even the weather dictates whether or not you can see those events. Like it has to be a rainy day between these time frames and these days. Um, so yeah, that that's what this just was, a cute little cutscene that kind of bonds two characters together and you just get to see those and it would develop a little story between the two of them. Mary sure is nice. Ugh, how many times have I told that boy to keep his eyes on his work? Well, I'll have to leave it. Oh! Back to back, apparently. Ack! No! A chicken! Wait, Chicky, come back! You aren't supposed to leave our land! Oh, hello, Cozy. Thank you for catching her. I only took my eyes off her for a second, but that's all sneaky little Chicky needs to get past the fence. She's so fast, I have a hard time catching her. And she always barrels off at full speed. I worry she'll get hurt. Same. Cozy, do you like chickens? Yep, who doesn't? Or chickens, more like Ickens. <laughs> it's a Pokemon name, I feel like. <laughs> oh, really? I just knew you seemed like the chicken-loving type. I'm totally smitten with chickens. And as Papa always said, a heart with a room for chickens is a heart full of love. Anyway, I better take Chicky back home before she can get into more mischief. If you ever have anything you want to ask about chickens, come visit us, okay? Come on, Chicky, time to go home. Follow me, okay? That's a good girl. Oh, they, they really are going into the house. <laughs> a rival heart event moving straight into just a normal heart event. <laughs> into another event. Yep, we've got a lot of eggs again today. That's good sign our chickens are all happy and healthy. I soft boiled a few of them to munch on while I was working. Want one? Mom? My my, thank you so much, Rick. Soft boiled eggs make such a yummy snack. Oh, hey, Cozy, welcome. Here to do a little shopping, I'm guessing? Okay, sure thing. Take your time and let me know if you have any questions. Sure thing. Oh, I know. Hey, Cozy, do you like eggs? They are most excellent. No, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Well, we're gonna say that they're most excellent. Glad to hear you think so. Hang on a sec. Here, our chickens laid a ton of eggs, so I soft-boiled some of them and ended up with a few too many to eat. And I don't want them to go to waste, so I figured I'd give them to a fellow egg lover if you want, that is. How could we refuse? Good luck with everything on the farm. Soft-boiled eggs are easy to make. Just pop an egg in hot water and voila! Soft-boiled eggs are really, really yummy. I can't get enough. Eggs are delicious and there are so many ways to cook them. Our whole family loves all kind of egg dishes, you see. Okay, are we safe from the heart events? I think, yes, we can get a brush. Toolbox, perfect. You need something? Well, we work pretty hard for someone who lives on their own. All right. So all the hard events that we've seen so far are black hard events. So they're just like the very entry level. You'll get them with everybody. And then as you raise friendships and 
get to know the town uh, and the people, you'll go through more. Oh, we don't have a ton of money after buying the brush. So we're gonna go to the hot springs instead. Oh! Cannot for the life of me understand what Mr. Carter, the priest, what a vexing man. What is it he believes in? <laughs> Everyone in this town is truly wonderful. Is that actually a word? Some of them are, are unique, though. Well, some might say the same about you, Jennifer. hoping it would be a nice boost, but alas, we'll just go in the hot spring for a bit. Okay. That's plenty. Let's do a little bit of foraging. Shoot, we might miss Zach today. If you have no business with me, leave. Okay. Bye. Wait. Is that a statue of a cat? Looks to be. Another thing that these games used to do that I always hated, it always made me so sad, is you could accidentally hit the animals with the tools that you have. And it would not like hurt them, but it would hurt their feelings and they would lose affection towards you. So it always sucked when you were doing something and they happened to be just like a little too close. I don't have my axe. Oh. Well. Should go to bed. Oh. New product. Do you have cows, perhaps horses, sheep, or alpacas? How about a brush? Oh. I knew that before I got this letter. All right. Let's 
that's right, we didn't sell anything. Music sounds a bit different than it did yesterday. Is there an event happening today? sounding music today, that's all. Square or yeah, you know what? Just extra water for those plants. No. Ugh. There we go. forward to our first uh ooh upgraded our sickle there are weather events that like hurricanes and like typhoons and stuff that will cause more like rocks and sticks and stones and things like that to show up in your farm Sometimes they have a risk of uh, landing in your crops. I think Stardew Valley does something like that. They have like, because you can do scarecrows in Stardew Valley and those keep crows away because the crows will actually come and eat your seeds, which I think is a cool feature in Stardew. spring for just a little bit. That should be pretty good. Oh, there he is. Oh. I guess the only thing we can do is scare the monkey away. There was a Harvest Moon game, I think, called Animal Parade. It was on the Wii. And you can make friends with the wildlife. And I desperately miss that. I love to be able to make friends with the wildlife in the games. That's 
better. If we go to the inn, we can talk to a good number of townspeople. It's one of the only places that's at our current level of friendship with everyone that's still open for us to go into this late in the day. <gasps> Greetings, are you a sightseer? Wait, you say you moved to this town? Nature's bounty is, bounty is abundant here. Quite unlike the lifeless air of large cities. Tell me you have opinions. I love it here. Hmm? Me? Oh, that's right. Introductions. I'm Basil. Or Basil. As an enthusiast of all things botanical, I study the plants here in Mineral Town. Nice to meet you. I wonder if that's Mary's dad, or Papa, as she said. If we try any drinks, if we haven't, we ought to at least once. Well, let's see if we can talk to anybody up here. Oh. Hmm, what's up? Did you have something you wanted to talk to me about? Well, either way, you're free to stay for a while. Oh, cozy. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do here in this town. I haven't decided on any course of action yet, though. Well. Let's see, have we met everybody? Um, Residents. So these little symbols mean if we've talked to them or not, or if we've given them a gift for the day. The hearts below is the level of affection they have for you, and the song notes is the level of friendship they have for you. I think our turnips are ready. Yes! Oh, we can run through the sticks too. Okay.
will have to go to the shop and get more seeds. So that'll be an event to do today, as long as the shop's open. Where's the horse? I can hear him galloping around, but... Uh, it's such a mess over here. This is grass that we want to leave growing because when we get cows and sheep and stuff, they will eat that grass. And it will spread to other spots around it. I always like to start growing it early, and the game already has some of it going, so I try not to cut it down. I'd rather a lot of the farmland be covered in grass than- where is this horse? Uh. Ah. Okay. Ah. There you are. Yeah, we're slowly working our way through. All the sticks and stones and weeds. Uh, oh, bag is full, that's why. quite low on stamina, so... Let's go see if we can buy some seeds. Since I just realized that it's 2pm in the game. Shops are gonna start closing here pretty soon. Oops. And then I'm gonna go need to get some stamina to be able to... plant on water. Oh. Of course. Closed on Sundays. <sighs> Guess we'll talk to everybody. The shop's only open for two hours, huh? I didn't actually read what he said. On days like today when the afternoon sun is high in the sky, my mind always seems to wander until I'm darn near slack-jawed. Well. Ah, finally the day is over. And yet tomorrow comes quickly on today's heels. Distressingly quickly, really. Mood. Hello there, Cozy. How goes your day? Another placid day in Mineral Town. Dang, everybody's walking around. No matter what I do, Grandpa's always criticizes me. I can't stand it. Time to think about it. How old is Grandpa, anyway? Can't believe he's still as spry as a spring chicken. Weird. What's his secret? Picking on you. Oh, Cozy. Think about what I'm gonna do here in town. I haven't decided any course of action yet, though. Cliff is an interesting one. Oh goodness, I best get home to start on dinner. Losing track of time like this has become a bad habit of mine. Ah. And yet another peaceful day passes in our peaceful town. As mayor, I could not be happier. Must be a relatively easy job when there's not a lot that's negatively happening in town. Say hello to Carter. 
a young man named Cliff comes to church every day saying he wants to atone for his sins. Do you understand the fundamental truth of atonement, Cozy? I feel like that part of Cliff's story never really gets fully flushed out. The ocean is so soothing. Mother Nature plays a most beautiferous and soothing melody by the way of her ocean waves. She likes to say iferous at the end of a lot of her words. We did come for a visit. Grandpa's really busy and his legs aren't so good so he can't play with me. Hello. What do you want? Yeah, I like pretty much everyone in town except Kai. Can't stand that no good bum. He drifts in like low tide in the summer turns the town on its head, and then disappears whenever he pleases. Sure. This used to be, like, in the original, this used to be just a blocked off you couldn't walk through here. So, so glad that they added that. Makes it a lot easier to get from area to area. Earned us a good amount of money. Ooh, we don't have to do any watering today. It's very nice. Oh, we didn't get fully re like rested. We need the hoe. Sparkles. That was cute. So using your tools in the rain does deplete stamina a little bit faster. go into the mines, but I'm also wanting to really get this place cleaned up. It's driving me nuts having to work around all the weeds and sticks, so...
Okay, off to go buy turnip seeds. Cannot for the life of me understand Mr. Carter, the priest. What a vexing man. You said so before. Ah. Mother's Hill is home to considerable variety of plants. Incidentally, that biological diversity is precisely why we came to this town. Hello, Cozy. Have you had a chance to read any of Basil's books? The library is positively overflowing with text he's written. Market trends favor town guides over specialized books like Basil's botanical encyclopedias. The fact gives him no small amount of grief. His books may be helpful to you, though, so give them a read. Sure. Oh, well, Cozy, you won't find me on the mountain at, in this kind of weather, but I'm afraid the library is still closed. I mean, if I opened it, no one would come anyway. Well, you'd be surprised. Seeds. We're here for seeds first, and then we can socialize after. Uh, let's go ahead and grab two. Let's do the same thing with potatoes. Those are going to be ready here soon. Okay. Now we can go socialize. Oh! Being a mayor sounds very, very difficult. Politics and administration are two things I could never handle. Fair. Speaking of which, Thomas's father was a mayor too. I wonder if Harris will follow in his footsteps someday. My my, if it isn't cozy, good day. How fares the farm? Is all going well? No one is particularly good at a task when they try it for the first time. Doubly so when the task is as complex as managing a farm. It will take time to learn the ins and outs. Have patience. Some solid advice. If you're ever in a situation of new learning, that's absolutely the case. Learning a new skill is not easy. It's gotten warmer out like clockwork. Like clockwork. Hugh comes home every day with another bug he's found in the dirt. This balmy weather sends me right to sleep, I'll tell you. Just a short nap. Well, I don't go to church on this day. Ellie doesn't work on Wednesdays and May goes out with her grandpa on Mondays. Well... Uh, oh, pardon me, I didn't realize I still had a patient to see. Well, you didn't, but if it isn't cozy. Are you eating well? That's good to hear. A balanced diet is crucial. That's not what that word is. Critical to cultivating a strong, healthy body. Most people in this town are healthy. We live in a place where... where the abundant blessings of nature appear to have rendered most diseases imp impotent. But I still study each and every day. Medicine is an endless pursuit. Many problems remain unsolved even now. What about you, Cozy? Working on the farm is surely a difficult endeavor in its own right. Farm work is one of the most physically demanding jobs out there. Do take care. Also, for medical mis matters, You'd rather not discuss with me, you can speak to my nurse, Ellie. In any case, we're always here to lend an ear about any health concerns you may have. Oh, that's right, Cozy. I just received some medicine from another town. Would you like to try some? Unlike the medicine typically sold here, it can restore both stamina and fatigue at the same time. Ah. Its only fault is that the effect is somewhat weak, which is why it hasn't been put out on the market yet. I improved it to increase its effectiveness, albeit at the expense of the flavor. <laughs> 
yeah, I'll pass, or a little medicine never hurt anyone, well, safe to say that that's not entirely true, but this is a hard event, so we're gonna play, because look how happy he is. Oh, it would seem I sized you up correctly. Go on, then. Down in one gulp. That was two, but you know. Oh. Ew. <laughs> ah, so it tastes as awful as I expected. But it was rather effective, yes? I had hypothesized you would be able to see the value in this medicine. Would you like some more? <laughs> Ha ha ha, forgive me. I couldn't resist a little joke. Taking too much of any medicine can have negative effects. Thank you for today, Cozy. You've given me a lot to consider. Oh, that did actually increase our stamina and fatigue. The doctor is passionate about his research. I could stand to learn a lot from him. Well... back again. Sigh, are you fatigued? No, I'm fine. Please don't overwork yourself. If you were to collapse, there would be no shortage of town people in distress. Oh, doctor, are you worried about me? Naturally, no good physician would be pleased to see an increase in sick patients due to his staff negligence. <laughs> oh my god. Sir... Sigh. Oh, is that all? What's the matter? No, it's nothing. Well, if you say so. What a man. This is a rival heart event for the two of them. Oh. She's so devastated. Is Ellie truly alright? She seems more... ...innerverated than ever. I just wanted to talk to you guys. What's the matter? Hmm. Is it... Is it okay that I... Perfect timing. Might you stay long enough to listen to a parable of mine? I'll warn you, it may get a little long. <laughs> Sorry I left my farm on. <laughs> oh. We'll listen to it once. Ah, oh, bless you. I didn't sneeze, though. Once upon a time, in a land not unlike our own, there was a normal family. The kind one would find anywhere. A father, mother, and their juvenile son all lived together in blissful harmony. One day, the mother succumbed to a, a virulent illness and suddenly passed away. As the grief-stricken father stood over his late wife, the little boy came up to him and asked, What happened to mom? The boy was curiously peering, peered at his dearly departed mother's unblinking face. It's a bit grim. The father, unsure what to say, desperately explained that she had fallen into a deep sleep. Upon hearing that, the boy was greatly troubled, he told his father, then please, Dad, use all of my allowance and buy a big alarm clock to wake her up. What do you think of that? That was when the father learned that the diluted words adults use to avoid speaking of death hold neither power over nor meaning to children. Think on that. I bid you a blessed day. Well... Spring. Spring means tea parties. Uh. Oh, I 
forget that talking to them always brings up all those options. We're not good enough friends with them to play with them or ask them for help, so it's only never mind. So like if we Well, we like playing with our friends. If we were better friends with you, we'd play with you too. Let's see. We ask for help. We like to help our friends. If we were better friends, we would help you. That kind of deal. So it's all never mind until we become friends with them. And then we can actually play the mini games. I get brought a nice little treat. Like how Aqua's like, you don't want to? I'm like, no, you don't want to. It just saved us both the rejection of it. Well, really, I guess I just saved myself the rejection of it. <sighs> Is something the matter? No, but I forgot that you have a shop. So, oh, he sells a, tr a truth jewel. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, cabbage seeds, pineapple seeds, green pepper seeds, moondrop flowers, pink cat, magic red flower, toy flower. Well, here's the thing. We're not super close to summertime, and pineapple is, is like, a great thing to grow in the summertime. And green pepper is an autumn one, and cabbage, I believe, is going to be with spring. But they all take a really long time. They're recommended, like, to plant at the beginning of the season. So we're probably a bit late for cabbage. We'll come back. Although, I don't know. It's eight, It's nine. So we'll buy cabbage seeds real quick. I think just one. I don't think they regrow. We'll get pineapple seeds towards the end of the spring season. Okay. There we go. All right. So I know we bought turnip seeds, but don't have the Let's do the turnip seeds real quick in this one. We might need to go to the hot spring before we plant the cabbage. I will do the cabbage here. Let's see. We'll do a row over here. Actually, 
we'll, yeah, we'll call it, we'll call it fully a day. We'll go to sleep. And that'll be it for this. Next time we're gonna aim to get our first chicken. So that'll be for next time. This time apparently was just the season of heart events.